Goedemiddag iedereen. Vandaag vertel ik het over mijn uh, doctoraat werk. Uh, dit project is een samenwerking met Uvo en Gent Universiteit. En dat is al mijn Dutch knowledge. <laughs> I'm going to continue with English. So the first thing is about climate, and my study is look at the uh, roles of below ground and uh, above ground biomass in this carbon recycle. Crop residuals could uh, bring um, nutrients and organic matter back to the soil. Uh, it, the removal could uh, reduce the soil quality, but the crop residual are also resources for other alternative utilization, for example, biofuel, um, which could be one of the solutions for climate change mitigation. So, to be or not to be incorporated still remains a question. Um, different uh, biomass so uh, sources have different behaviour in soil because of chemical characteristics and also interaction with soil. Um, previous field experiments showed root derived carbon is 2.4 times more efficient uh, to preserve soil organic matter in long term. And people want to know why. Uh, under estimation of root, yes, it is indeed very difficult to quantify the root excudation during growing season. And maybe root has more lignin and other biochemical components lead, which lead to um, less uh, mineralization and also maybe due to this uh, physical protection via aggregates. Uh, this is the third uh, hypothesis is uh, what we are looking at. So roots could help to foment uh, soil aggregates and uh, within this aggregate the organic matter availability for the decomposition is limited, especially in the small aggregates within the bigger aggregates. Several experiments have been carried out. Uh, the first long-term uh, long experimental trial, we compared the relative contribution of root-derived carbon and shoot-derived carbon. And our hypothesis is that root-derived carbon is more likely to uh, store in the suit size small aggregates because this uh, close contact with uh, soil and roots during growing season. <coughs> Uh, with energy trial, we want to see whether there, there is differential uh, degradation of uh, shoot and root under field condition. Uh, with um, variety trial allowed us to check the effect of uh, varieties and uh, soil texture on the below ground biomass and the root sy system architecture. Let's look at what we did in this experiment. So, first the two uh, maize-based crop trial was selected. The 12 years uh, Belgian trial, Botula, and 23 years uh, Tetufrati from Italy. Um, why maize? So maize is C4 plant. Um, maize has different uh, um, photosynthesis mechanism, so it has more it has stronger C13, which is a stable ca carbon isotope signature. So with the transition of C3 plant to C4 plant, we could uh, see how much soil organic matter is derived from C4 plant by looking at the C13 signature. <laughs> and how we compare the root derived uh, and uh, shoot derived carbon, silage maize, uh, which the whole plant was harvested and uh, only roots remain in the field. Ground maize, uh, both roots and shoots remain in the field and we compare these two treatments. At Botula, after 12 years maize cultivation, we did not notice a significant difference between these two treatments. The green bar, grain maize and uh, the brown bar, uh, silage maize. The different numbers is a uh, different dose of uh, nitrogen fertilizer. At Tetufrati, 
we did see that uh, shoot input uh, improved uh, the sock content, but the difference between the two treatments is not so big. So we say shoot, derived, uh, shoot carbon did not uh, have strong impact on sock content. And uh, we also look at how efficient maize-derived carbon contributed to um, soil organic matter pool. Uh, we look at the, read, uh, the <coughs> root rotation, so amount of uh, maize-derived carbon divided by the uh, root carbon input. So we see after 12 years and 23 years, 9 to 49% of roots remains in the soil, while 6 to 19 percent of shoots remains in the soil. We also introduced this uh, relative contribution factor, which is the ratio of uh, root rotation to shoot rotation. Uh, if this factor is larger than one, which indicated root um, derived carbon is more stable than shoot derived carbon, as you can see that our result is uh, larger than one and we find uh, roots is more stabilized than shoot in the field. And this result is also consistent with previous research. And this looks a bit complicated. This is a, a physical uh, fractionation scheme which we applied. Um, this is how we did wet sieving. This is how we did uh, ultrasonication. Um, the main goal is just to separate different carbon pools. If you look at the green box, here it's a free particular organic matter and uh, this blue box is uh, organic matter associated with uh, mineral particles and uh, this brown box is uh, particular organic matter occluded in the suit size small aggregates. So our hypothesis was um, root is more likely to accumulate in this fraction uh, I'm not going to show the result, but we, we did not find a preferential uh, accumulation in this fraction. The second experiment to check the difference, different uh, degradability of shoot and root, what we did, we incorporated chopped roots and uh, chopped uh, shoot into a C3 crop field. So in this way, we could see how much maize is decomposed. And how we did it? <coughs> Every two weeks, I took this uh, small suitcase into the field and uh, I measure how much CO2 is released. Um, and then every month with this closed chamber system, uh, we collect the gas sample every 15 minutes. And then we know the CO2 content and also we measure the uh, C13 signature. So we could calculate this CO2, how much is from the soil organic matter and how much is from the maize. And we noticed that after eight months, both, uh, most of the roots and shoots were decomposed. So we did not find a difference between these two treatments. The third experiment is uh, we selected three different soil textures, clay, soil, sand soil and sand loam. We used eight uh, commercial varieties and uh, three replicated plots. Uh, each plot we took uh, two root samples. So this is the two we used to take root samples. Half of the roots was washed and dried, we took photos. And the other half, we selectively did the X-ray micro-CT scanning. Uh, this is how it looks like uh, the result of CT scanning. Oh, I mean, we developed a method to extract the root out of the whole volume without cutting or uh, destroying the root. So in, and afterwards, we wash the root. It looks like this. So these two photos are quite comparable. Uh, we, also did we also did quantification of a root trace in 2D and 3D models. We want to compare uh, those effectors. Um, but we above ground biomass is uh, determined uh, by uh, variety and fields. 
and we only found the field effect in the below ground biomass and also root system architecture in 2D and 3D. So the below ground biomass is not necessarily in line with above ground biomass. Okay, let's summarize. So root derived carbon is more stabilized as I should derive carbon in long term and we did not find the um, preferential accumulation in the suit size microaggregates. And the degradability of uh, shoot and root is similar after translocation. And the soil texture plays a more important role on the below ground biomass and the uh, root system architecture. Thank you all.